Hey Laura, so what are you doing with your hair today? Well, I have put on highlights and I don't really want to get them again, so I was thinking we could try the balayage trend of me. Okay, great. Well, let's do it. In order for us to achieve that look, we're actually going to be using Nutrice Ultra Color and HL3 Golden Honey. And this look is very popular because you don't have to worry about your roots, it's low maintenance, and you're still on trend. And to get started, always keep in mind where you want the pieces to be lighter. The great thing about this product is that it comes with an easy to apply brush. Dispense a good amount on the brush and choose the selection to lighten while applying tension on the hair. Continue the same painting motion on all sections. And another tip is to vary the lengths. This will add more dimension and depth to the overall look. So now we're done and we'll wait 30 minutes. Wow, Laura, look at your balayage. Thank you. I love how it just completely lightens up my face. And then I also don't need to worry about root regrowth, which is so nice. It looks fantastic. A great way to finish off this look is with a beachy textured wave, adding dimensions with your color, as well as giving it the right amount of movement and bounce. It's like the most serene hotel I've literally ever been to in my life. Okay guys, so I am in my hotel now and oh my god, this is probably like the nicest like room I've stayed in in a long time. It's like the most trendiest little hotel. You walk in, there's the bathroom and then you go through this door and there's like an area you can put your shoes and then there's like a gigantic mirror. Also, side note, yes, I've worn this outfit on the plane like three different times I've gone on a plane. It's all good. Um, okay, so then you walk in here and there was like the most calming music I've ever heard playing. And then that's the bed and then you have two big closets to hang up all the stuff. I'm trying to like get this whole room in. And then you have like a little desk area. So it's gonna be an early to call time. Um, I need to make sure to be in bed by like 10. So I think I might actually stay in and just like order room service. Good morning everyone. So it is, what time is it? 6.22 right now. So I have to head down stairs in a few minutes because I have a car picking me up at 6.30. So I am already, um, basically I'm just wearing this gray t-shirt. That's all they told me to wear. Basically what the shoot location at the moment looks like. So I'm taking on this like, little kitchen area. I brought my phone and I brought my charger, thank goodness. But we're shooting over there somewhere, I'm assuming. I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. Okay, so we're on set and I will be shooting over there. As you guys can see, they're just like set up all the cameras and stuff. So we'll be starting shortly. set right now so that's the set back there and so we'll be shooting and then i'm gonna go later and get my hair done and yeah i'm very excited i have like a natural makeup look going on so there we are we just finished up shooting i have to talk kind of quietly because they're actually shooting out there right now but i'm in front of like a really lit well lit mirror this is the bathroom um but i'm going right now to the l'oreal headquarters today's been really good i have like my face hurts from smiling because like in the shots i basically just have to like soil so much so guys look at this elevator man how funky is this Funky, funky. Okay, I made it to the head office, so I'm going up to the sixth floor to L'Oreal. Here is my final hair. This is what it looks like. I'm talking kind of quiet because I'm in front of 21 right now. Um, but it's a lot lighter, as you can see, and I really like it. And I'm trying to find an outfit more for the shoot. Good morning, everyone. So it is currently like 7.15. I'm actually watching some music videos behind me. And I need to paint my nails really quick. And then I'll head off because my car is waking up at 7.30. So it is day two of shooting and I'm on set right now. I just got my makeup done. Um, and it's, yeah, it's basically the same thing yesterday. And then for the reveal, I'll get like my makeup amped up quite a bit. This lighting is very orange. I don't look like this, I promise. It's like, it's these lights, basically. You guys might be able to... No, no, I, I don't look this orange, right? I swear. Okay, I'm in here, she's purple. We're going to 
shoot right now. Okay guys, so I just did my like video close up thing and I was so nervous. It was like, I was, like, felt like I could almost like be like shaking. And basically there's like seven people sitting watching a monitor and they're like, all right, go. So it's like basically think of like filming a lookbook in front of seven people watching you. And then we're doing like group shots and then we're almost done, so yay. Shooting my final like face thing. Yo, that screen is amazing. It's gonna be on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So that is it. I am headed out of my hotel right now. I'm just checking out. And yeah, this trip was actually so much fun. Shout out to Garnier for watching this. This was an amazing time. Let's get going. Okay, so Hercules, my driver, his car drew. I'm now in the limo. <laughs> at the airport now, and I just got some Starbucks. I got my usual, this is what I always get, an iced caramel macchiato, um, non-fat with like a shot of espresso, and then I just got a breakfast sandwich. And then I, you can also get, I meant to get it blended, but they didn't blend it, but it's just like their smoothie. But I am gonna end up with a vlog here, just because I'm in the beginning on the plane, and I will edit this vlog and have stuff for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!